What's up everyone? Thank you so much for clicking on my video. My name is Michelle, but I go by Mimi. On this channel, we are gonna talk about a plethora of things. We're gonna talk about different ways that you can protect your spirituality using yoga. We're gonna talk about different ways that essential oils can actually help you live a better lifestyle. We're gonna talk about these essential oil infused masks that I have developed to help boost your immune system, boost your mood, and block any odors that you come into contact with as well. We're gonna package orders together. We're going to make orders. And we're also gonna talk about different strategies that you can use in your daily practices and your daily life practices. And that will also help protect you against viruses such as COVID, the flu, and the common cold. So before you forget, hit subscribe, give me a big thumbs up, and I can't wait to see you in my videos what's up you guys thank you so much for coming back to my channel um today we're going to talk about how Mediposa was born and we're going to talk about my entrepreneur story so as you all know i am the ceo of Mediposa in evolucion i also am an emergency room nurse i am a registered respiratory therapist and i have always been inspired to help those that cannot help themselves. I was inspired to help others early on in life and having that inspiration led me to the medical field. I had my first encounter with a patient that had been lying in urine and alcohol and feces for about a good two, three days or so. Um, I literally cannot explain the spell if I tried to. All I know is it was putrid and it was just not a pleasant smell. So at that time, I knew that I had to come to terms with something um, in order to be the best nurse that I can be. I had to come to terms with that. I'm a little sensitive when it comes to smells and you know what? I'm okay with that. That's just the kind of nurse that I am. So I believe that some nurses do get used to the odors and they are able to breathe in those circumstances. But you know what? I'm not that kind of nurse. I can't. So um, I just started coming up with ideas immediately. I knew at that moment, you know, um, something had to be done. So I... I remember um, I started off my career as a county nurse. So um, shout out to all my county nurses. I, I started my career about eight years ago. And shout out to all my county nurses. So um, we go through the most together. And I think once you're a county nurse, you are always a county nurse, bottom line. Um, so I remember um, that day that I had that patient, I actually um, was in the, in the supply room with another tech and we were like, oh heck no, like I really need to come up with something to cover this smell, like what can we do? And I remember her saying like, hey, you know we got that baby lotion. I was like, oh yes, that bomb baby lotion too. So we went into the supply closet and it was um, that Johnson & Johnson baby lotion. So <laughs> I was like, I remember telling her like, hey, I got these masks right here. Let's just put this shit on the mask and let's just try it. So we already know baby lotion smells good. Who doesn't like baby lotion? Like, come on now. So everybody's baby smells shit or everybody's baby should smell like baby lotion at least. So I know my kids do. So I know they be hating them too. Um, but baby lotion is a bomb. I don't care what nobody say. That's like, that's like, it's just like, it's needed baby lotion for sure. I love baby lotion. Like, oh. Um, so I put it on a mask and I don't even know why I doubled it up, but I did. I doubled up the mask. I put it in between there and I threw it on my face and I was like, all right, let's go. So, um, she had one, I had one and we went to the patient and now while it did not take away the smell 100%, it did decrease the smell and make it, a, make the, the care that we were giving the patient a lot more tolerable to, you know, be in there for a length of time. So that's just how you know, I came up with this idea because I literally used to call my friend um, that lives in Chicago. It's like my bestie. We literally used to joke about every morning. I'm like, hey, 
I'm about to invent something. Like literally, I'm gonna invent something that's gonna block smells for nurses because this is unacceptable. Like I, it was like immediate. So we were laughing about it, but then I was like, no, but wait, a lot of times people invent things and it's really little things that you would never think of. Be like, what the, like I could've came up with that. Like what the hell? There's so many things like that. There's like the suction catheters for that respiratory re respiratory therapists use when we are suctioning a patient that's intubated. That was developed by a, a respiratory therapist. And there's like super neat things like that that we didn't even think of, but when we use it, we're just like, oh yeah, duh, decrease infections, yeah, duh. Um, and we and it's crazy, we come up with this. So I figure this is kind of like, kind of like the same thing almost with the mask. It's like, duh, I mean, I don't care who you are. You, you cannot smell something like that bothers you for a long time. It's just humanly impossible. I don't know, maybe, I don't know. Maybe there are people that are, that are like humanly and creatively made so perhaps you can do that but i can't so i remember actually a few years ago a friend introduced me to um essential oils and originally i was just like i don't know damn essential oils like i do not know what am i gonna do with these oils like i no, i don't even know how to use them so i really wasn't a fan of them but then um i know that we make the same money moves and she was originally just gonna go for i hope she doesn't mind me sharing this story but i just gotta keep it real so um and i really wasn't into it and it was mostly because i didn't understand it and that's a lot that's a lot of the reason for a lot of things that people don't do because they're, they're just not aware of all of the benefits so she introduced me to the essential oils and um, she int was introduced to them from another friend who she really didn't even want to go to the thing with anyways. I guess it was like some type of like essential oil, you know, like those, you, I don't even know why I'm saying sex parties, but that's what I could think of <laughs> like right away. But you know, those sex parties or the, uh, Mary Kay parties, more appropriate, right, right, right. <laughs> but you know, those kinds of parties where they ask you to, um, buy things, so. It was like essential oils like that, so she really didn't want to go, and I wouldn't want wanted to go either. But anyway, she went, and lo and behold, she starts loving the freaking oil. So then she calls me, and I'm like, "Well, why tell me?" So I don't know, whatever. We do everything together, like anything that's money moves or anything that's awesome. We always seem to find our way back to each other. And she's also one of the nurses that I worked with at County, and I like clung to her. Um, because she was just a boss from ever since I met her and ever since I've known her, she's just straight up boss status. Like in the ER when things just side note and I was I go on side note, sometimes they'll roll with me. Um, but just like on in in the end, like or in the ER when things would go down, every time she would be charged nurse, I just knew everything was okay. Even if the shit hit the fan, I didn't care. I just knew I had a bomb charge nurse. So um but Anywho, like, I love her, so I do whatever, you know, she does that's beneficial, I do as well. But, um, nonetheless, she introduced me to me to these dang oils, and, um, I ended up trying them. I ended up getting, like, a little, like, a value, like, the family pack or something. They, like, have, they have suggestions for, like, if you're new to essential oils or if you are advanced or whatever level you're at they're they're pretty much entry, they're pretty much entry level oils because they give you all the details about them right there it's super easy to learn about them if you just teach yourself it essential oils when so i tried them before i get to that i tried them and myself and i didn't think it was gonna work at first so okay now wait i'll tell a quick story you remember like lavender so everybody knows lavender is for like cooling calming you know just keep you chill mode and put you to sleep give you all those good feelings like that right so that was the first one i tried in my house because at that time when i tried it um that my whole house was chaos like i'm a mommy of twins and um they have a shit ton of energy and so do i and it was just always chaos at my house always having lots of people living with me or staying with me or visiting me or whatever the case may be it was always off the chain so I think that lavender was the first thing I was gonna go to, of course. And um, so I didn't know how to diffuse it, but I was just like, you know, just, I didn't read it at first, you know? My little brother read it mostly, and normally I do read directions, but for some reason I didn't care to go read them, I don't know. But I was just like pouring oils in water, and I'm just like, ooh, it's kind of strong, like, I don't know. Maybe it's supposed to be that strong, I don't know. But um, nonetheless, I put one downstairs, and I put one in my room, um, 
and I remember, you know, I really don't remember much. I just remember going to bed, the, the usual routine that I have, and I remember waking up a lot later than I normally do. I normally wake up um, like one or two in the morning to check on my kids. Like it, that's just what I do. I've done it since they've been born. And um, let me tell you, I don't think I woke up till like five. I was like, the whole house was creased. Literally, everybody was creased. <sighs> Snoring, drooling, just, it was probably one of the best nights of sleep that I can literally remember. And I'm pretty sure it was too much damn essential oils in the water at that time when I actually did go back to like reading and <laughs> read the instructions and the directions. But after that moment, I texted my friend immediately and told her how in love I was with the oils. I told her, um, thank you. I remember saying that and I was just like, all right, teach me exactly what to do. So it was over. So I just, that was some years ago and I, can honestly tell you, I don't remember not one day that I have not used my oils in some type of capacity. With, and I definitely use it for those twins. Like, oh, they are lavender. You know, I literally have to talk myself into pulling lavender off their dresser when I pour that lavender. Every night is lavender night. Every night. This be so soothing and everybody just go to bed. Like, I want that um, diffusing through the entire room all day, every day. So when they hit that room, boom. Get that monkey on their back, go on them eyelids so they can go to sleep, literally. So I really don't detour from that, but lately since this COVID crap, I've been actually using essential oils that will make them think more and make them be more cognitively intuitive and help them concentrate more because this is literally craziness that we're all living in and we all, you know, should try to figure out ways to help us get through the turmoil and get through things that are super challenging instead of um, soaking in the negative and you know energy so I've been trying to think of things where I got off the lavender kick just for briefly because um, these unprecedented times are just tough for all of us so and I want my babies to be cognitively aware of their surroundings I want them to be able to concentrate at school, I want them to be able to concentrate on their work. So um, doTERRA provides that for me because I just love how pure their oils are and I'm not being sponsored with, by them or anything. That would be super awesome though. But I literally love them regardless. Like they are the bomb, literally. And that's what my kids use. And I don't know, they're just great. So I thought to myself when I was working on this idea, I've been working on it for so many years, and I was like, okay, well, why don't I use essential oils? They're used to boost your immune system. They're used to boost your mood. They're used to um, block odors. Like you can block the odors with it. They're not used for that, but they're, they are now. So um, I thought it was like a perfect thing. It was a perfect combo. So I think that's how many folks it was born. So sorry for taking like a million years to explain that. <laughs> but nonetheless, um, so I figured the essential oils will actually, so I'm winking this now, oh God. So I figured the essential oils will actually um, not only provide those benefits, but in a healthcare setting, if that's where they're being used, it can literally help nurses and others like decrease our own anxiety going into these different rooms whether there's an odor or whether there's some type of critical patient and we just our nerves are getting to us because i mean at the end of the day it is people's lives that you know we're saving and helping and you know dealing with so i feel like the essential oils can you know help decrease anxiety it can block the smell at the same time it's like it's i want to say like it's a triple like a triple threat but it's like it's like a multi threat you know like infinite like there's so many benefits and uses that I've you know thought about and and I've like kind of webbed into this this thought process of this invention so it is still being of service and helping as many people as I can while also helping myself of course so um 
it's still being of service. So I thought this would be a perfect combo. So I've come this far and it's, it's been amazing. It's been great. So I'm not saying everyone will love the essential oils. I mean, some people won't want to have, you know, a smell on their face. They might want to just smell their breath. I don't know, whatever they want. Um, and then some people um, just may not be compatible with the oils. I don't really see in some ways I'm still trying to study like how someone is incompatible with them and you know because there are levels that you can use it would literally have you toxic levels if you use too much or kind of like how when I poured too much it was like super strong so anything that's like super strong and you have like a, a sensitive airway that you, you want to stay away from things like that so I think that's probably always good to follow instructions or read directions and things like that so whatever um, but I really thought this would be a great idea and another thing is um, it led to why I wanted to become an entrepreneur anyways as well so I became an entrepreneur because I was basically tired of working in environments where I was unappreciated and I possess many talents and skills that I felt yeah, my main thing being being of service is, is not only my love language it's like my way of life but Yes, I was being of service, but it's almost like you're, it's almost like being in an employee and using or doing earned income. It's almost like you're kind of like being of service to them in so many ways. And that was just not the truth. I love taking care of those that are just not able to take care of themselves. And um, when people come into the emergency department, it's generally not because they want to. Um, it's because they have to and so I try to turn their bad day into a good day if I can by you know Using as much positive energy as I I can uh, But a lot of times your work environment um, Can be toxic and it can be full of drama and things like that and you know a lot of times You know the people come into the ER and they think like we're this happy family and we really can't stand each other sometimes just to be real um, there's so many things with nurses that go on behind closed doors that we really, a lot of people aren't even aware of and you would never even know um, how drama filled we are. So um, we're, we are a lot of drama, but um, at certain places, I can't say that for all places, but a lot of places have a lot more teamwork than others do. So I just, I don't know, it's just, it's just a different ball game when you're working as an emergency room nurse. Um, it's almost like you're bred to be vicious and bred to stand up for yourself and bred to be cliquish or be emotional. It's like, it's almost like, it's like a path and there's always like a leader of, of a little clique and you get in where you fit in. So I was just like, well, I don't, I tried to fit in on so many different teams and cliques and I've just come to the conclusion that I'm my own team. Like I don't I don't need to be on anybody's clique. I don't need to be in anybody's team. So with that is like it's almost like uh oh so you don't wanna be on nobody's team then all right then you ain't if you ain't for us you're against us. It's almost like that sometimes um with nursing but I kinda just wanted to do my own thing you know, and work for myself and make my own schedule and not have to answer to others and clock in on, on, on their time where you got these damn, the, what's the eight minutes before or six minutes before and three minutes after shit? I don't know, it's just too much stress, I think. Where if you're, it, God forbid one of us nurses be uh, three minutes later, two minutes late, it's over. Like you are getting written up. You are just, it's just all kinds of craziness over a few minutes. Like, so what? So becoming an entrepreneur, I said, okay, how am I gonna become an entrepreneur? I need to, there's, okay, this is what I need to do. I need to figure out a problem and I need to figure out a way to solve it. So inventing these essential oil infused masks, I felt like there were multiple problems that I was solving. Um, I wanted to develop something that would decrease, if not eliminate, odors that we come into contact with as healthcare members. Um, this would allow longevity 
bedside with patients, um, boost their immune systems on both sides, really, and then uplift the moods on both sides as well. Um, not only was I solving a problem in that capacity, but now I was able to become a CEO and be an example of how you do not need to take advantage um, of your power to wreak havoc on others and recognize the word team you know, and recognize a common goal which you all share, which really should be um, being of service and who can compete with anything better than that. So, that's my story. I'm hoping that I am able to, you know, help as many people as I can become whoever they aspire to be or whoever they dream to be, you know, by just shedding light on the reality of what it takes to get there. Thank you so much for watching all the way through. I hope that I was able to help you in some type of capacity. I hope that I was able to give you a true, um, authentic version of who I am and what my intentions are. Um, so don't forget to hit subscribe. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and leave me some comments and suggestions down below. And let's just chit chat. Thank you. Deuce.